Okay, Kat, so here we are at Cat Wise. How'd you get that name? Oh, I had a, there's a boy I had a crush on when I was like 15 and he just started calling me Cat Wise and I thought he was so awesome that I thought it was like this amazing name because everything he did was amazing. And he's, he's an asshole, but I still have the name. <laughs> <laughs> How long you been making these sweaters? I've been making clothes, patchwork clothes for about 20 years and the sweaters for maybe seven or eight years and then it's on I've been on Etsy now six years five years uh-huh and um, tell me about your inspiration um, now I'm usually just inspired by the sweaters themselves because they're all so different so I'll just pour a whole bunch on the ground and let them speak to me and put pull the colors together but I suppose the, the pattern is pretty um, Free-spirited. I uh, originally, I, I was inspired a lot by the um, dresses on Grateful Dead tour because uh, people would spin around and try to make these dresses that spun out really big, um, kind of like whirling dervishes. So that's where my, my roots are, but I feel like I've evolved to a sort of different look from that. Uh -huh. And what's your name on Etsy? How do, how do we find you there? Is it's it Etsy or Etsy? Uh, I always call it Etsy. Okay. I don't know. All right. Um, it's K-A-T-W-I-S-E at Etsy.com. This is one of my crazy buses. It's my the car that I drive around town. Um, she used to be kind of a, a show pony and really nice, but since we got a house, we've been using it to haul crap to the dump. So now it's a workhorse, but it still has some remnants of its glorious past. Can you come shut the door? <laughs> Did you do that specifically for the Mermaid Festival? Not specifically. Mermaid Parade. Mer mermaids and I have a long relationship. How long have you owned this bus? I've had this bus for four years. And the big bus I got when I was 19, so that would be 16 years. We'll go over to the big bus in a minute. How long did it take you to paint this one? Um, the first coat of paint took about a month, like working on it a little bit every day. And then, well, I've neglected it for about three years now, so. <laughs> but previous to my long period of neglect, I would touch it up quite frequently. a lot of the detail on the pictures you have posted. There's so much going on here, it's fabulous. I look at it and all I see is the stuff that fell off. <laughs> there used to be so many more letters that spelled out little messages and all these well, look at even the things mud flaps. the bus that I lived in during college out in California. Studying oh, anthropology. Look, oh yeah. I didn't even know that was there. Is it here? Mm-hmm.
There's a door. Yeah. Oh, I see it. Let me kiss your pineapple. There that is again. I think I was listening to a lot of B-52s when I painted it. <laughs> How long did it take you to paint this one? Uh, this one also took about a month. About a month? Um, when I start a project, I like to just keep going at it until it's done. So it was just what I did one April. But it... I, <laughs> It's such a disgrace right now. It's so neglected. Oh, next year, next year it'll be nice. I'm gonna sand it down and repaint it all. All right, let's go inside. Oh God, it's so ugly. I don't really want people to see what it looks like inside. Truly? It just used to be so nice. Oh, no, no, no. Thanks for joining this tour of Catwise by Dragonfly Kathy and Son Sterling of ZigzagExpress.com. Signing off.